Let us take an example of a reaction to understand the effect of concentration on equilibrium. When ferric ions are reacted with thiocyanate ion, a complex like this is formed and the color of the complex is deep red. We know ferric ions in aqua solution are yellowish in color. Now when the yellow colored ferric ion solution is reacted with thiocyanate ion, the solution color becomes deep red due to the formation of this fer ferric thiocyanate complex. Now once the equilibrium is established, we can increase or decrease the intensity of the color by manipulating the concentration of the thiosulfate ions. Like let us take an example, like we can add oxalic acid to the reaction mixture. Now this oxalate ions immediately combines with the ferric ion and forms a complex like this one. This is called trioxalatoferrate. Now in this complex, as this complex is formed, the ferric ions are getting consumed in this. Now due to the decrease in the concentration of the one of the reactants, as stated by the Lee Chartist principle, since you are removing the reactant, the system, the equilibrium will move in a backward direction. This complex will start dissociating into more number of ferric ions so that the equilibrium is again established. Now, since the, as the number of the, uh, the concentration of these complex ions decreases, the intensity of this deep red color decreases. So, what happens is, therefore, the intensity of the deep red color decreases. The same thing can also be done by taking, taking an example of the mercuric chloride. Once the mercuric chloride is added to the same solution mixture, what happens is this mercuric chloride combines with the thiosulfate ions which are actually available in the reaction mixture and forms a very stable complex tetrathiod thiocyanido mercuric mercurate ion. Now since this complex is formed, the thiosulfate ions concentration decreases. Therefore, as again since the reactant is removed, the system will move backward. This ions, this, this complex will start dissociating into the ferric and the thiosulfate ion. And since the concentration of this deep red, uh, the ions is decreasing, the deep red colors intensity will decrease. So what will happen is, Again, it's the same thing that the concentration of the, uh, this complex decreases, intensity of the deep red color will decrease. On the other hand, if we add some amount of potassium thiocyanate to this reaction mixture, so there are three conditions we have discussed. One is the addition of oxalic acid, other is the addition of this mercuric chloride, and third is the addition of the potassium cyanide. If this potassium thiocyanide is added to this reaction mixture, is added to the reaction mixture, what happens is, since the thiocyanate ions concentration increases, what will happen is, the system will move in the forward direction. So more number of ferric ions combines with the free, these free thiocyanate ions, more of this complex is formed and since the concentration of this complex of the ferric and thiocyanate ion increases, this concern increases, the deep red colors intensity gets more, much more or higher. So what happens is therefore intensity of the deep red color increases. So this is how we have seen, we can, uh, this is the best example to 
show that how the concentrations can be manipulated and by manipulating the concentrations, the equilibrium can be shifted on any of the sides or how the equilibrium behaves when the concentration of the reactants of the products are changed.